In today's education news, let's explore the continuing cost of living crisis alongside the school funding issues and the impact that's having on schools. So these findings are from a report from the NFER with their ongoing impact to the cost of living crisis on schools, where they asked over 1,200 teachers and school leaders across mainstream primary and secondary. So one of the most worrying stats from this report is that only one in 10 teachers and school leaders are saying they are not going to have to make any cuts. Just one in 10, no cuts. The rest are saying that they are having to make cuts in at least one area because of these cost pressures. So lots of teachers are having to make cuts in targeted learning support and learning resources to plug holes in the budgets. These budget pressures are hampering school leaders when it comes to making improvements to school buildings. Nearly half of primary school leaders and a third of secondary saying they're having to make cuts to plan spending on building improvements, which just comes months after the rat crisis where it was reported over 700,000 children are going to school with these crumbling buildings. So there are just a few things that stood out to me as far as the school budgeting and funding issue. If you then read into things like this, where 31% of primary school respondents are saying more children are showing up to class hungry, 40% reporting an increase in pupils arriving without adequate clothing. In this one, 79% of primary school teachers, 62% of secondary, saying that they were spending their own money purchasing items for pupils. 19% of primary school teachers said they were specifically spending money on pastoral needs of pupils, such as clothing or food. Around one in four primary school teachers and one in five secondary saying that they spend at least £100 so far this academic year. Now, I completely understand why teachers end up doing this when you see firsthand the true impact this cost of living crisis is having on our students, uh, on our children, and uh, none of it's their fault. It's it's something out of their control, and there's a sort of an, an innate feeling that you want to help and you want to do everything in your power when your hands are tied because of the school budget issue, and then school stepping up to provide breakfasts and food parcels is then taken away budget or limited budget for other areas. It is just so frustrating. Then there are just other things in this report that just make for bleak reading. Most schools continue to provide food parcels, subsidised breakfast and uniform to pupils. 32% of primary school teachers report an increase in pupils arriving without necessary books or equipment. The take-up of food parcels or food banks in deprived areas is significantly higher than more affluent areas. A massive lack of access to support from external agencies are continuing to be a challenge for teachers, particularly around mental health. And the funding crisis and cost of living crisis is then continuing to have cuts to staffing, spending on trips and enrichment activities because of these cost pressures. I suppose there is probably hope with the general election on the horizon, but I just think it's going to be an absolutely mammoth task for Labour to come in if they do win to sort this absolute mess out because of the 14 years of chronic underfunding to our education system where we are now seeing these really drastic, worrying statistics in schools.